Hey, it's hey. Dave. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> November six, Alpha November. Yeah, so it's the uh, it's the epic Chris and Dave show today. We're gonna head up to uh, Goat Mountain along with uh, the soda dog there. And uh, are we gonna make a contact or something? What are we gonna do up there? I hope. Play with radio, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah so. Throw a wire in the air and see what we catch. Start yakking. Yeah. All right. And did it, did it, did it. Well, let's and stop did... yakking and get cracking. Right. All right. And then, of course, we got to take the obligatory selfie. So. Oh yeah, let's get um, that done. First time terrible selfie. But... CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November one. Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. It's on my phone. Here we go. Going up the hill in. here. Got right up there scouting ahead the with her pack on. Got another old dog here. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> or an old goat. Well, Two soda goats heading up. I'm getting there. I'm in the low 800s. Okay. You got your half a goat, so I think it's the rear half, though. And I think I've got my California half goat. Okay. I think I have 500 points at least within state. Yeah. Without fail, normally on the weekend, I get a chase from this guy on, uh, we call it uh, Dave Summit. He's normally chasing us. Early tango, 225. There you go. Flint Peak. You'd think I'd had that memorized by now. <laughs> Flint Peak. So, yeah. Our summit's right over there. I think Dave wanted to be up here at sunrise, but I had to have my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I managed to drag my heels on a few things too, so. Alright, decision time. This may not have been the best approach. I came up the other side last time, I believe. I'll have to double check with Adam. This should be interesting though. Nothing but well, some good cliffs over there. That's not happening, but going up and around the other side will work. So Dave and I are just kind of scoping out different routes here. We're gonna go out this little draw here. Looks like could have a lot of stable rock and doable. That's definitely open over there, but this, this is good. It's just gonna be a climb, All right, Dave? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna take a moment and take a peek around this rock. All right. Huh? Are we good? You gonna run straight up this thing? We're almost to this ridge. Here comes the goat. Smells like one too. <laughs> okay, I'm using the LNR uh, tribander because it gives me a little bit. Uh, it's a longer wire and it gets me exactly what I wanted to do. So I went over to this little, just this. I don't know. It's maybe 10 feet down, then over to that little ridge, and uh, put my push-up pole in over there. And um, so then I ran the uh, ran it this way. There's the feed line going into it, and then I've got this. Um, basically, this gives me just a little keeps everything off the ground. And when Ray goes under here, back and forth as she paces around, doesn't snag it. Got my operating position here. Um, I brought the chair, but I think I can sit on this flat rock and then uh, work my radio from here. Um, I've got a great view out this way. I won't be looking right into the sun. Um, got my pal right here with me. David, I don't know if you can see his little piece set up over here. Let's see how he's set up. Somewhere over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, you set up a half square? No, it's uh, 59 foot end fit. 59 foot end fit. So he's got a pole here, a pole over there. 
um, it looks like he's going to set up in those bushes down over there. He's going to be out of the out of the wind, which is nice. So I'm running my wires. I don't know, running uh, northeast, I guess, or northwest. Excuse me, northwest, it's the southeast. So anyway, uh, that's that's uh, that's where we're going to get going here. Let's get on the air. Check out N6AN station real quick. Every operator does a little bit different. Um, yeah, this Dave guy, N6AN, he's a smooth operator. So he's got basically a long wire popped right into his KX3. How long is the wire, Dave? Uh, I believe it's 59 feet. 59 feet, so it's coming up into that pole going over to that one um, and he's coming down into his station here uh, yeah I have a double banana to BNC adapter okay and it's just wire banana connector goes in um, tunes up great on 20 okay and it gets out too um, Uh, and you you got a little bit of DX. Oh, the master at work. Who are you working? Uh, N1 SMB, Colorado. I think I have some of those paddles too. Yeah, this is the... Uh, American Morse equipment. Yeah, I got some of those. Uh, Porta paddle too. Yeah. Yeah, I like mine. W4NA. All right, so he's just getting it done. I see you're filming. <laughs> Let me get a hair off this thing. Just a quiet, uh, when you're up here doing with it with earbuds and stuff, it's just really quiet. Uh. Yeah. Well, okay, before we jump into the wrap up, just want to cover mail time. Uh, and wanted to thank uh, W9 SSN Gus for sending me this really cool uh, QSL card. It's uh, a submarine um, breaking through the Arctic ice. He does a little bit of work in that industry. So uh, we got a Summit to Summit uh, back in October last year. And uh, yeah, that's cool. We, we've gotten a lot of Summit to Summits and Gus does a lot of chasing. So thanks Gus, I appreciate it. Love adding it to my collection. Next up is KG5WAW, that's Jim, over in Rockwell, Texas. Thanks Jim for the, uh, for the QSL card, pretty cool add that and then last but not least is from ja5 quebec juliet x-ray um yasu kushida hopefully i didn't screw up that pronunciation too bad um he is nagano city japan and uh, a very cool qsl card uh that he sent and uh he worked me uh 50 watts from Japan on a IC706 going into a 24 meter long loop. So uh, he was he caught me on uh, Whiskey Six Charlie Tango 249. So that was a that was pretty cool. And I definitely enjoy getting cards from my DX contacts as well. So um, thanks a lot. And 
I'll send you to the wrap up for this video. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Well, we're eating a snack before we're heading down. But uh, I think I got 24 and and or 25 and 5 uh, Summit to Summits. And a couple of Canadian stations, but the best uh, DX I could get. How'd you do? Um, I think it was about 45 and probably six summit to summit three canadians two va2s and a va6 and i guess the best dx was f4 wbn okay and n1 eaa n1 aea in maine i heard christian chasing somebody else uh christian oh. in france but uh, he didn't chase me uh maybe he's mad at me because we both have the same name i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway this actually looks a lot tougher hike than it actually is I would agree. I, I was kind of intimidated by the bottom, but you know, yeah. it's one of those things where the more you approach, it just sort of unfolds. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we were kind of just, uh, you know, building tactics and plans as we went, and it turned out really well. Yeah. So, and of course, Ray, she's up and down, up and down, leaping to the top of rocks, and like, what are you guys doing down there? Yeah. <laughs> no monkey business. Let's get yeah, with it. Yeah, let's get cracking. That's what she said. All right, Ray, Ray. All right, well, I'm going to close it up. We're going to head down the mountain. Um, beautiful day out here. Yeah, beautiful day, great views, and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, great to meet Chris. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of fun on the. I don't know if we'll have anybody back at camp when we get there. Yeah. Some guys are heading out. Um, I'm going to head back down to San Diego. Um, so I'm going to throw in something else in lieu of a drone shot. I brought the drone, but if you don't have the controller, it's a little hard to fly it. So, like an idiot, forgot that we would have had this would have been a perfect place to run it too. Oh, this would have been a perfect summit to kind of do a loop around, but yeah, I could have flown it over. You have flown it over and checked out Kevin. Yeah, I could have flown it over, you know, <laughs> waved at him and then flown it back. He's at the next summit over. We got him on our little uh HTs, so uh, yeah, that was fun. So, all right, let's get cracking. Yeah, great outing. Yeah, it was fun. 73. Oh, yeah, so I might as well wrap it up here. Um, if you're interested in doing this hobby, uh, go to hamninja.com. Um, I did do a four-part video series on how to do this, the planning, everything. Um, you can go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360. And uh, if you want to see my ego get even bigger, which, I mean, who wouldn't want to see that, hit the like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.